So let me just give a little bit of lip service to this second possibility, the idea that life is a lot more generic than we think it is. Um, that the parameters don't need to be that finely tuned in order to get something like life. If we were really serious about making the claim that the parameters of the universe are clearly finely tuned in such a way as to allow for the existence of life, this is the kind of argument we would have to make. We would have to say, consider all possible physical theories, consider all possible cosmological manifestations of those laws of physics, consider all possible ways that life and or consciousness or something like that could exist within those universes, and then calculate the fraction of those universes compared to the, the total number of possible universes. Now, nobody does this. Religious people who want to argue that fine-tuning is evidence for God don't do this. Physicists and cosmologists who want to argue that the multiverse is necessary to explain things don't do this. Nobody does this because it's wildly impractical. Our knowledge of all possible laws of physics isn't anywhere close to allowing us to make this argument. And the scientists are just as guilty of this as any of the theologians who want to use this as evidence for the existence of God. There are some hand-wavy arguments that say, you know, if the mass of the neutron were smaller than the mass of the proton, life could not exist. I personally have almost no faith that we understand what the universe would be like if the parameters of nature were very, very different. So I'm open-minded about this, but it's clearly a very hard problem. I just want to admit that it's just as much a problem for scientists as for um, religious believers.